So first things first, here's the very basic Spectrus processor window. If you open up Spectrus processor, generally you'll always see um, this open data panel already loaded in for you. Now, if you didn't um, and you open up like this to get to that open data panel, all you have to do is click this folder button here to get open. Um, so now you can see that um, we are connected to all of the files within our computer. And we have the options to favorite certain files and folders that we usually um, or generally frequent. So for example, let's say a lot of my information always gets put into a specific folder. In this case, um, Spectrus for me. So this is just, you know, like daily routine data gets uploaded into this folder and I have to do my analysis. Um, what I can do is favorite this folder pressing the star button and you'll see that it loads a tab onto the directory. So now I have easy access to this. I can simply just open it and it'll always be favorited there. So uh, before I bring in um, any type of data, I also just want to let you know that you can set up pre-processing options even before you bring your data in. So to get to pre-processing options, what you'll do is right beside the open um, the folder here, there's this um, triangle. And so whenever you see uh, this triangle or a drop down triangle beside any of the icons, it generally means that there are more options that you can view. So I'm just going to click that and I'm going to click um, the pre-processing options. So you'll see here that I'm um, opening up this new window and there are a number of different data types that we deal with. So we have, you know, 1D NMR, 2D. Of course, we're dealing with um, the LCMS or LCUVMS chromatograms. And so, for example, if you want automatic peak picking applied to your um, to your data sets already, you can simply just cl click peak picking. This automatically also enables um, detector lag. It'll fix any types of lags. Um, you can also select peak naming auto combine and if you run macros which is a little more advanced for this presentation um, you can definitely set up um, a macro to run so anytime you bring in your um, in your data it'll automatically process it the way that you want it to be processed um, i'm just going to de deselect all of this um, we're going to start from scratch we're going to walk everyone through everything and i'm just going to close this so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my first data set. To bring it in, it's very simple. All we have to do is click on the file or folder that we want to, click, drag, release our mouse to drop it in. You'll see that now I have this um, pop up here. So it's letting me know that this is some mass links data and you'll see that there's a lot of information here. So it's giving me the positive trace, um, positive MS, as well as diode array data. It's also giving me combined scans uh, within the actual spectrum itself. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unselect everything and I'm only going to bring in the mass spec trace or the TIC as well as the diode array data. Um, you'll see at, below here, we also have the option if you're dealing with um, MSMS data, MS3, MS4 data, um, you can bring those in as separate traces. Um, or you can bring them in all as one if you deselect this. It's up to you and however your workflow works best, um, but you do have that option when importing your data. So I'm just going to click OK now. And we should see all of this pop up. So you'll see that we have a number of panels that have opened up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close the open data um, panel here, and I'm just going to walk us through all of the fold or all of the panels that have just opened up. So let's start on the left. On the left, we have the LCUVMS legend. This is going to keep us um, a little more organized with what's going on. You'll see that um, we can select and deselect these different boxes. And so currently what's being shown is the TAC, the TIC, the ion chromatogram, our mass spectrum, as well as our UV spectrum. Moving to the right, this top um, screen here, this is our chromatogram 
window panel. You'll see that we have our TAC, total absorption, um, TIC, um, total ion. You'll notice that this top um, trace here is highlighted in red. And that what that means is that it's the active trace. If I wanted to deal with um, the information that's in the total ion chromatogram, I'd simply click below and you'll see that now this trace is highlighted in red. So that's one of the ways to ensure um, we're clicking, you know, we're clicking the right or we're dealing with the right traces. You may have also noticed that when I clicked on this specific peak, um, the MS window and the UV window also updated. So this is all live data, right? We can click through the different points and everything's going to update as we go through. So this panel right over here, this is our mass spec panel, um, deals with everything mass spec related. Um, and to the left of that is our UV panel. Now we have the options to open and close any of these panels and we'll um, definitely do that. Um, this is the table of components. I'll get into that a little bit later in the presentation. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to close it. So now we have a very good view of our chromatograms, our mass spec, and our UV data. For this presentation, I'm not really going to touch upon anything for UV data. So I'm just going to deselect that UV box. And you'll see now I'm just dealing with um, my two traces as well as my mass spec.